Today, I'm going to do something different. I'm attempt to create a track in the style of a well-known Danganronpa music producer, KPSZH. If you don't know him, he's basically an aspiring Russian music producer who mostly makes Danganronpa remixes. His style is basically just early to mid-2010s EDM, but he kind of broadens his style lately. But to keep things simple, we're sticking with his EDM style. If you like Dang and Ronpa, you should really check out KP. I'm just gonna call him K. Anyway, he's really underrated. Check him out. Okay, so as I said earlier, K mostly makes Dang and Ronpa remixes. But for this video, I'm gonna remix a track called Hackers Dignity from Digibun Story Cyber Sleuth Hackers Memory. It sounds like this. <laughs> probably thinking, it sounds like Scrum to Bait. Well, it was made by the Danganronpa composer himself, Masafumi Takada. I'll probably make a video about him someday. So for the intro, we want to keep faithful to Scrum to Bait and Hacker's Dignity. First of all, we need that iconic tape stop sound effect from Scrum to Bait. This is not the exact sample though, but I'm pretty sure K didn't use it in his Scrum Debate remix. Anyway, all of these samples are from Kashmir, Vengeance, and Musicore. You really need sample packs from these three companies in order to sound exactly like K, or otherwise you fucked up. Anyway, the snare uplifter riser thing. You want the snare to sound like as if someone being hit by a baseball bat. And then you want to add more loops and samples. For the synths, you want the original art from the hacker's dignity. It's a preset from Silent One. And then this recreation of Scrum to Bait, Super Saw Uplifter. This atmospheric bass thing. And there you go, the intro is done. For the drop, just like the intro, you want to spam the samples from those three companies. We have the kick and this hi-hat loop and then after that you want to repeat this, repeat this, repeat this, repeat this, repeat this. After 8 bar, you want to add a busier loop and don't forget that huge impact sample. As for the scent, you obviously want the super saw. A distorted sub bass. And that atmospheric bass from the beginning. Oh, I also put a filter automation to make it sound wow, wow. Anyway, don't forget that side chain. Oh, I almost forgot. Sometimes K really likes to use voice sample. Junko voice sample to be exact. But for this track, I want to use this. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? There you go, the drop is done. And then the next part here is quite experimental. We got this 
funny sounding acid synth arp. This really weird arp thing. And then after that, I have this synth playing the Danganronpa execution baseline just to show that this is a KPSZH remix. Because you know, the guy has a ton of execution remixes. Also, don't forget that side chain. And that is it. The whole track is done. Let's hear it, shall we? Why is it? 